We're live and ready to go. We're live for Open Sauce Live. So we're trying to get everything ready for going down to Open Sauce, which is in two weeks. So we got a lot of stuff to get ready, but I am excited to show you where we're at so far. Even if everything completely goes to pretty much shit at this point, we have some pretty cool stuff already set to go. I'm holding the thing that I think is kind of one of the coolest things that we're gonna show off, and it's just the tip of it, phrasing. <laughs> we made these uh, fully 3D printed instruments. So this is the world's first, at least to my knowledge, I haven't seen anybody else pull it off, first ukulele that's 100% 3D printed. The tuners, the strings, the whole body, all printed. I didn't design the tuners, they're actually designed by a guy named Gnome. Uh, you can check out his YouTube channel, I'll give you a link to it. He puts these out there, you can just download them for yourself off of um, printables, and I think Thingiverse as well. I've been talking actually to him to try and like figure out how to do some of this stuff the best way, so there may be a team up there actually in the future on some of this stuff. Um, but this thing does play. Uh, this is the prototype, so this is like the really the crudest of all of these that we really have here so far. Let's see if we can actually play this so it doesn't sound stupid. Not too bad. Uh, the tuner seemed to like hold the tuning pretty good. The intonation in this one's not perfect, but we have a new version where I did get it perfected. This one, we got everything kind of ironed out and made a little bit better. You'll notice too that this whole thing is set up so that it can also be a flamethrower as well. Also has these other vent holes on it too, so we can hook it up to a fog or smoker system. So as you're playing, you can also throw a bunch of fog and smoke while you're playing. This is the body for the fully 3D printed guitar. So we're going beyond just doing this with ukuleles. We have a bass designed as well. So we should hopefully have guitar, bass, and uke at minimum. I think I figured out how to do a violin as well and a cello. I don't think we'll get to the cello, but we might get the violin done. Uh, these were like some of the early prototypes, some that like failed and didn't make it all the way through, but you can see the insides, which is kind of cool. And then other things that we're trying to get done. I don't know if we'll get there on this one or not, but Making replicas of Sonic the Hedgehog's shoes. They don't actually sell these, but it turns out if you really look closely in the movie, they're actually just the regular white Pumas that are sold, just recolored. So the bottoms stay white. You swap this guy out with just a white stripe on there instead and then dye the rest of the shoe red. And we have these really cool magnetic levitation systems right down here. And we can actually float the shoes in those magnetic levitators. So you'll just see them floating there in the air, which will look pretty rad. And I've got like this whole Sonic the Human outfit to go with it too, which, you know, is awesome and totally not cringe at all. So we got our Thor hammer, which is taken apart right here right now. This right here will have all the swing sounds and everything inside of it. So you swing it around and it makes all the cool little noises. But what makes it really cool is it has multiple Tesla coils inside of it. And all of these Tesla coils can be synced up to something like a guitar that you're playing. So as you play the music, it comes out as electricity out of the coils. So you'll have this whole hammer that's like lit up with electricity coming out both sides. So that'll be pretty cool. We can't actually have it like running on the show floor, but we'll have videos of it functioning and everything. And people can pick it up and swing it around and make all the smashy, smashy sounds with it because it is really strong too. We made it out of the TPU stuff. So we've run this stuff over with a car before and it just pops back into shape. Pretty tough stuff. We also, where's that stupid picture of us? Gee, why can't I find it in all of the shit? Where'd I put it? James, where is it? Oh no. There it is that right there. So we're, we also made these Ghostbusters goggles that allow us to take a picture that instantly prints. Just like in the last movie, they had like the ecto goggles where they could just take a picture and then a little photo pops right out the side after they take it. We made a set of goggles that do the same thing. These of course need to be repainted. This was like a really crude finish we had on them before. And they need to have all the decals from the movie and stuff all stuck on them too. Those all gotta go on there as well as all the little greeblies to make it look proper and to have a little flash and all that stuff. You can take a picture with these. You can intercept the picture on your phone and then you can add ghosts into the background. So we could add, I don't know, Yoda in there if we want to or Obi-Wan or in this case, we added uh, Billy Mays. We'll have that work in and we'll have this to actually show at open sauce. So if you want to come by the booth, actually get your picture taken and we'll give you a free picture with you and some ghost of choice in there with you. And that won't be the only Ghostbusters thing we have. We've printed out the trap car from the last movie too, which is all printed out here. And this is the same Traxxas Stampede that they used for the movie. So we'll have that all disassembled 
build. We have the proper tires that they used in the movie too. So we'll have those on there. And then we'll have a bunch of AI art. These are just a few little samples of some stuff that I've been playing with. We did our own version of the inbred cat and just other cool stuff as well. And people of course can come and try out all the instruments and stuff. They'll be able to buy them and they'll be able to play them as well. And we also have, the, we'll have on display, it's taken apart right here right now, our drone cloud. We've of course made variants of this. We made the fly Abedes drone as well, which was just basically flying cotton candy, which is a great American invention if I've ever heard of one. There's more. I mean, this is just the stuff that I'm thinking of right now off the top of my head. We're gonna do some pretty cool stuff. I'm excited. Yay. Yeah. <laughs>